Hi everybody, my name is Jared Weathers and this is the Weather Media's podcast and this is all about All In. But first, we have a little announcement from Dak Ryan. Go ahead, Dak. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to say congratulations to Tanahashi for winning the G1 Climax. So. Good job, Tanahashi. We, uh, we're all fans of you. Congratulations. Doesn't make any dumb sense, but okay, we'll go with it. Alright, so I'm here. I'm here with the Divine Dak Ryan, the six time TBW World Champion, and the TCPW Champion, uh, Aaron Matthews. How are you guys today? Hey guys. What's up? It's a famous peanut wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We're doing this again. You're the one who wants to grab his dick. I never said anything about grabbing his dick. I Let- was drunk last night. Everybody, you listen, were too. L- listen you to were the drunk too. cast on SoundCloud. It's perfect, I promise. We'd sing, di- we sing Dick in a Box. It's. Too sweet. Dick in a box, babe. Babe. That's my dick in a box. All right, we we do not have time for this, guys. We have we have stuff to do. We have stuff to do. Okay. This is the All In podcast, which means we are going to talk about All In the entire time, starting with the pre-show, which is the zero hour on on WGN TV or WGN America, whatever channel that's on for you guys around the country uh even though like two people listen to this <laughs> uh <laughs> um so yeah so let's get into this uh the, the first match we have on here is the briscoe brothers jay and mark briscoe versus socal uncensored frankie kazarian and scorpio sky for their uh it is a tag team match. It does not say it's for the championship. Is it for the championship? I just assume it's... I really um, doubt it. I, I actually don't think it is. Could be. You don't know. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it could be. Well, the other ones, the other championship matches have them on here, so I'm going to guess it's not a championship match. So, uh, who do you guys got? I'll, I'll go last on all of these, so you guys go. Um... I think for a such a big indie show like this, nothing against SoCal and Censor, but I think the Briscoes are going to take the victory. I think uh, Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky are going to pull an upset against the Briscoes. Uh, I agree with Aaron. I think Kazarian and Scorpio Sky are going to go over. Uh, oh, by the way, everyone, uh, we are going to do we're doing predictions, which means we will do a punishment. So whoever does not get the most correct will have to do a punishment. We'll figure that out later. Uh, the second one we have on here is the over-budget battle royal. 15-person battle royal to determine the number one contender to the ROH World Championship, uh, which is later that night against Jay Lethal. So uh, who, uh, who do you guys got winning that uh, battle royal? I only really know a handful of people that are in it, so... Oh, they, they, they have the names announced right here. Well, some of them. There's okay, uh, Jordan Grace, mm-hmm. Moose, Rocky Romero, Colt Cabana, Ethan Page, Brian Cage, Billy Gunn, Jimmy Jacobs, Marco Stunt, Brandon Cutler, and Punishment Martinez. Those are the names announced right now. Um, I'm going with Punishment. Uh, I can see him winning it. Billy Gunn, definitely no. That's the, the Punch Martinez is the only one that they've advertised on being in the Battle Royal that I've seen. I haven't seen them advertise really anybody. There's a um, there's a little like uh, I, match card. I, a, um, um, I predicted Jordan Grace was going to win. I told I was talking to Jared about this a while ago, and I'm like. We're going to see the very first ever women's Ring of Honor World Champion. Oh, hell no, please no. I actually agree with Aaron. I I think Jordan Grace is going to win it. Hell no. Uh, Either her or Moose or the returning CM Punk. Just kidding. I'm just, it's a joke. Um, Um, no, I, I, oh, oh. CM Punk had the time to screw over Colt Cabana. We did, oh, that's just, that's just wrong. 
<laughs> that was just wrong. Um, we also left out a name that could be in there. Who's that? Neville. Well. Oh my god. Well, oh, me and that, me and that could be a possibility. Me and Aaron watched a Russell Talk video that says that I said it showed in a tweet from Osprey. <laughs> And Osprey wants to wants to fight him, so maybe we can see that later. Well, 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 Osprey, I'm sorry, but you're not as good a high flyer as Adrian Neville. Sorry. Hell, and definitely sure as hell is not as good a wrestler as Neville was. Um, but we, I also had this prediction. I think that it. I think if Neville's not going to be in the Battle Royal, I do believe we will see a new Bullet Club member. Oh, we could. We definitely could. Or, or a firing squad member. Dude. Tama Tango. I, I've talking seen about that. Yeah, I've seen both of them advertise Neville. I've seen both of them. I don't... I saw, I saw Tonga on Instagram say, what a heel firing squad question mark. And then I said... You know who we could possibly see in the Battle Royal too? Who? Yeah. Rich Swan, maybe. We could. Oh, probably. Oh, definitely. Hashtag, hashtag harm, harm, harmless rib, by the way. Oh my god. That was, that was so funny. funny, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was hilarious. Um, no, but I saw I saw the Bucks looking at a Neville toy. And yeah, like, I saw that too. Like, he, 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 he. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a good show. That's all I know. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Obviously. It's so, going to... It's gonna it, could be, it could be Neville, and if Neville's not in the battle role, I do believe we'll see a new Bullet Club or firing squad member announced. And I think it will be Neville. Oh, so I'm just gonna go down the list here. These aren't in order for the actual match card, but uh, Nick Aldis, who is the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, versus Cody Rhodes with Randy Rhodes. Who do you guys got? Hey, Cody. Yeah, yeah, same. I got Cody. I have Nick Aldis. No but Nick Aldis has held the title for too long. It's Cody Road time. Yeah, I I do believe Cody will pull out the victory here. I'll, if, if not, I'd be upset. I'll be upset. I'll cry. <laughs> I will legit cry on the video that Jared and I are gonna make during all and I will legit all tears. Oh god. I over I overheard him talking about it at the wrestling show I was at yesterday. Oh, nice. So uh, Kazuchika Okada it, so. versus Marty Skrull in a singles match. Who do you guys got? Oh my god. Okada. Okada. They're not gonna bury Okada like that. I, I wouldn't really call it a burial. Mm. Cause, Cause Okada's one of the best in the world. I mean, he can't Listen. really be buried at this point. Listen. If there's one way to bury Okada, it's putting a super junior facing and beating Okada as a heavyweight. You don't ever hear that in Japan. That I think it's, I think it's going to go to an hour draw. That's, it's, that's or a no-no. Or is it a 30-minute match? Yeah, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> Okada, Okada has a big match coming up on the 23rd of September, so. He's facing that's against true. Tanahashi, and the winner of that will be in the main event of Wrestle Kingdom 13. Which I think is completely retarded. I'm, uh... Since it should be Kota Ibushi, but oh well. Oh, Aaron, who, should, who are you well, taking for this match? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like both. Uh, I'm taking Okada. I gotta go Skrull. Cool. You can go with Skrull? Yeah, I'm, I'm going Mary Skrull. So far, Jared has disagreed with all picks so far. No, because yeah. I agreed with you for Jordan Grace. Well, I'm not talking about pre-show. I'm talking about, like, the main oh, card. Yeah. Well, we're only, yeah. like, this This is going to be the third one on the main card. Uh, Joey yeah. Janela with Penelope, with Penelope Ford versus Hangman Page, the new famous dick wrestler, and a singles match. Who do you guys got? Hangman Page. Hangman. I'm going to go with Joey. Ooh. And the reason okay. why I'm going to go with Joey is because Joey is moving up in the indie circuit. And I, I, don't, I just, for some reason, I, I actually had a dream about this the other night, and it was kind of weird. 
they were squaring off, mm-hmm. and Joey beat him, and Hangman left Bullet Club. Really? I that was that was just a dream of mine, but uh, it was kind of it was kind of weird. I think that uh, Joey Ryan's gonna come back and screw Hangman, so I'm gonna go with Joey Janela also. I'm going with Hangman, you know, because I mean, he's he deserves that push and he deserves, you know, to be higher up on the card. But oh, 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 we'll no, see I'm what totally happens. Agree. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Definitely, I don't. The six-man uh, tag team match, Rey Mysterio, Phoenix, and Bandito versus the Golden Elite, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, and Kota Obushi. Who do you guys got? This one's Golden Elite. Oh. I'm going to go with the Golden Elite. Aaron, who do you got? I'm going for the upset, Rey, Rey Mysterio, Phoenix, and Bandito. I'm also going to go Mysterio, Phoenix, and Bandito just because Mysterio is going back to WWE after this. So This is his last indie show. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to go out with a bang. Exactly. Considering he's worked for Ring of Honor before as well. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, Phoenix and uh, <coughs> Pentagon, you know, it's... I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love every single competitor in that match, though. Like, yeah. they're all incredible yeah. wrestlers. It, it's going to be a great match. It's time to lose. The Libre. Yeah, I got Japanese strong style. You, you know, I really. It's going to be great. I really want to see a collaboration with either Kota Bushi and Van Meter or Kota Bushi and Phoenix. I, I actually really want to see that. Really? So, that would be really awesome. Yeah, dude. Phoenix. Phoenix is possibly the most underrated high flyer ever. I agree. Yeah. That, that man is incredible. And so is Bandito. Man, Bandito's crazy. And Kota Ibushi can wrestle anybody and make it good. That is true. I mean, he his can. Match, his match he had with Seth Alexander probably was, won. Um, amazing. That was the best match in the whole tournament, without I a doubt. I agree. I completely agree. That, that was one of the best matches of the whole year, easily. That, that made Cedric Alexander's career. Oh, I definitely. did not watch yeah. that tournament at all. Uh, Christopher the, Daniels versus yeah. Stephen Amell in a singles match. What do you guys got? Stephen Amell. They're going to push Stephen Amell. Yeah, dude, they're going to make him win, obviously. That's obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Stephen Amell. We could see as Pac much, come as back, as much, though. As much as I hate it, but yes, they're going to make him win. Poor Christopher. <laughs> Poor Christopher. Poor Christopher Daniels. Because because I like Christopher Daniels a lot. Mm-hmm. So. Well, he's, he's a good wrestler, but I mean, Pac's, he's great Pac's he's coming the, back. He's got the best moves all ever. Uh, Pac's coming I'm back, sorry. you guys. I'm sorry, but Christopher Daniels is one of the reasons why AJ Styles is so successful. Agreed. Agreed. I'm not going to disagree with that at all. Um, next oh, match. wait. Could we see Flip Gordon in the 15-man battle royal? Possible. Possible, yeah. Just say it. Uh, Madison Josh Ray. Maybe. Madison Reyna. I, I guess uh, versus Britt Baker versus Chelsea Green versus Tessa Blanchard in a four-way match. I guess it's not for the ROH Women's Championship. I'm gonna go with Tessa Baker. Isn't Britt Baker Adam Cole's wife? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going with Britt Baker. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Actually, Tessa Blanchard. No, I'm not. I'm not going for Britt Baker. Actually, I'm. I'm going for Madison Rain. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably one of the Wait. best. Wait, how? What? How was Madison Rain there? I have no clue. Uh-huh. She's wrestling in the May Young Classic. They well, they did tapings for it. Yeah, oh, which yeah, means she hasn't signed yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. I wish. I wish the Women's Classic was live. But yeah, so did I. Um. But obviously, you can't really get it. I wish because there's so many women's wrestlers that can't make 
make it that day, so they have to tape it. I wish, I wish they'd make another damn cruiserweight classic. And the winner faces the cruiserweight champion at Mania, or yeah, something. yeah, like something cool, right? Yeah, um, because I mean, you know, but. Already, yeah, I mean, yeah, it just it would just make sense. You've you've had two tournaments of the same thing, and the UK, and you haven't done another cruiserweight. That was the most successful you've ever done. Mm-hmm. When I knew when I heard they were bringing the cruiserweight division back, I was so ecstatic and ready. Oh yeah, dude, I grew yeah. up watching. He was ready yeah. to grab some dicks. Yeah, exactly. Aren't we all? So, um. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with Tessa Blanchard. And here's the thing about Tessa Blanchard is WB ruined their opportunity in Tessa Blanchard. Yes, they did. Tessa Blanchard is one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. Why would you not want to sign her? She has the look, she has the microphone skills, and she has the skill in the ring. She's everything you could ever want. Yeah. I would love to see her versus Charlotte. That'd be a great match. Her versus Charlotte versus Natalia in a triple threat. Yeah, see, like, that's... Yeah, you, can't, that's you can't get better than that. Uh, I'm going but, with Chelsea Green for this match. Okay. Well, not a bad choice. No, yeah. You know, it's a bad but, choice. Uh, Jay Lethal, nice. who is the ROH champion versus the over-budget battle royal winner. Uh, would, I think... I would think he lose the title? You think so? What if, hold on, hold on, what if the returning Dalton Castle comes back and wins the Battle Royal and faces Lethal for the title? We didn't even think of that. Lethal would still win? No. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like if they did that, Lethal would still win. I don't know why. But like, you know, I never even thought of Dalton Castle. I don't really think that... Like... Mind bones, right? You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd be. Yeah, I didn't even think about. And then, and then they can have a feud culminating to final battle where Dalton takes back the title. Or something. You no. Know? Because I, I feel like his world title reign, his world title reign was wasted, kind of. I mean, Dalton Castle. I mean, he always wrestled the same people every time, so he never really was able to get real competition that much. Well, I'll tell you what. If Fornishman Martinez wins the Battle Royal, then he's going to win the ROH Championship. You think so? I know so. All right. Bold prediction there, Sonny. I mean, I mean, if he if he gets that curb stomp on him, on Jay Lethal, like, Jay Lethal's done. Oh, oh um, Fornishman Martinez? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, definitely he'll win it if he wins that battle royal. Oh, yeah, definitely, 100%. Which would be cool, because, I mean, he, he really deserves it at this point. He's a really good wrestler for a big I guy. Agree. I like uh, Punishment Martinez. I thought, like, at first, I thought he was, like, an off-brain Baron Corbin, so I didn't like him at first, you know? Because they have kind of the same look. Not anymore. Get used to it. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Not anymore. Not <laughs> anymore. Well, no. <laughs> Corbin's bald. Yeah. There you go. Constipated Corbin. And the last match on here, Kenny Omega versus Pentagon Jr. Who do you guys got? Kenny. Obviously, Kenny's going to win. I have Kenny as well. I'm going with Pentagon. Dang, disagree. Disagree. You really think that Pentagon Jr. is going to beat Kenny Omega at all in? Yes. Why? Okay, okay. If if the rumors are true, and Pentagon is going to WWE, which I don't believe, but if he is, I feel like Kenny would rather put him over, because Kenny can get over whenever he wants to on the indies. He's Kenny Omega. If Pentagon is leaving, it's always better to leave on a high note than a low note. Who knows? I mean, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I mean, really, yeah. It, we'll we'll just have to see what happens. 
And we... I'm, um, sorry, but uh, I read some news that Brian Cage was injured at a, a show. He was wrestling Jeff Jarrett. Oh, God. And Brian Cage got injured, but he still um, advertised for all in for the Battle Royal. He won't win it, though. No. They're not going to make him win it if he's going to get it. No. I mean, don't get me wrong, Brian Cage is a great athlete. Yeah. But him as Ring of Honor World Champion, he's already the Impact Wrestling X Division Champion, which shouldn't be happening because he's a fucking heavyweight with a cruiserweight title. Um, so we're going to record our live reactions to this. Yes, we are. Um, I'm going to cut it up, put the highlights on my channel, and put... Well, actually, I'll probably just put the whole thing on my channel. Uh, are you guys going to do yeah. that in Georgia there? Um, well, come to find out, John and Tyler are leaving me for the weekend, so I guess I'll be watching it alone. No. Oh. Yeah, if we whatever. could, we'd, if we could, we'd fly your ass to Michigan yeah, City and watch all in with us. Oh yeah, dude, I'd love to. But you know, it's fine. I mean, I can watch yeah. it by myself. I'd watch it with my dad. Sure. Yeah. Sure, I want to watch it. Probably yeah, good. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be me, Aaron, and my grandma watching it. <laughs> she fucking ripped us again. To, to yeah, she did. God. Oh, oh guys, God. guys, wait! I have to, we have to talk about this. Huge news! All four. Horse women in the from the UFC are now in WWE. Yes, I saw that with Jared, so I know all about it. Dag, what is your take on that? Take on what again? What did you say? It kind of broke up. Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, um, Miranda Schaefer, and uh, Jasmine Duke. Jasmine Duke are all in WWE. Yep. They're cute. Um, sick too. Um, yeah, it's cool. I like it. I think we could see four horsewomen in MMA versus first four horsewomen. I'd like to see it. They're talking about Jared, it for SummerSlam, or uh, Survivor, Survivor Series. Survivor Series, yeah. Yep. Jared was talking about it, and we're like, Survivor Series potential match. A main event. Main eventing Survivor Series. Yeah, but here's a question. Who's going to be the heel team and who's going to be the face? Who thinks it's going to be the heel team? Think about it. Heel team's going to be the MMA. Easily. Yeah, of course. True. I know. I knew that. And the face team, and Becky Lynch will turn face by this time. Will be hopefully the will be the wrestlers. But yeah, you know, I'm I'm excited. We're all in. I'm excited for what's coming to WWE or you know, I'm the Survivor Series. I'm so ready for Evolution. You guys have no idea how ready I am for that. I know. I know. I can't wait either. What's going to be the punishment for All In? Okay, so... I feel like... What should be the punishment? Or something? I don't know. I... You know, because it's a big paper. It's a non-WWE paper, and it's like the biggest one of the year. Yeah, um... We'll figure it out. You can order all in on the Fight, T uh, Fight TV app for $40. It's, it's pretty cheap. Yeah. Compared to other yeah, pay-per-views. Yeah, that's not too bad. No. We could have won two tickets with the dollar raffle Pro Wrestling Tees was happening. They had a dollar raffle, and if you won, you won two tickets all in. So. Oh, well. That would have been really cool. Um, that's okay. They'll yeah. have plenty of other opportunities. We'll, we'll still have the excitement watching from home, so it'll still be good. All in zero hour, WGN America, uh, the first yes. hour. Uh, all in forty dollars on the Fight TV app. Make sure you have something to watch it on. 
for yep, I know we do for the Divine Dak Ryan and no name Aaron Matthews. I am the chosen one. Jared Black. I might just use that from now on. Uh-huh. This has been our All In Predictions. Make sure you check out my video with Aaron and my grandmother watching All In. And, uh. Well, you know what? Guys, we should do the two sweet together. Awesome, right. perfect. Three, two, one. Just sweet. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys. Remember, check out the famous Dick Wrestler, Dak Ryan's fan page on Instagram. No relation to Joey Ryan. See, and I um come to find out there's actually a another fan page that somebody is making of me and this kid named Daniel Blocker. Really? I, know, I, I saw the post about it on your Insta or on your Snapchat story. You said something, the Daniel Blocker guy, isn't he in like CZW or some shit? No, he's not in CZW, oh. he just oh. wants to be. Oh, he wants to be, okay. Uh, underscore. Yeah, like I saw that and I'm like. Underscore Dak, underscore Ryan on Instagram. You know, we can have a hardcore match. I can make a drop kick feel like a chair shot. We're actually looking at chairs today at the store. You drop, dude, you drop kick like AJ Styles. Phenomenal. Thank you. I appreciate you're, that. You're welcome. That's actually that's actually my uh, that's actually wow. my um, that's how, that's actually how I want to drop kick. That's where I get my drop kick from is AJ's. Yeah. So we have some plans for the paper for our upcoming pay per view time for war. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Hopefully, you know, we'll get the ring built. We couldn't do it yesterday because it rained, so we couldn't even get it up. And today it rained. Yeah, and today it rained too. And for most of the day. And all that shit. Hopefully, by the end of this week, we'll have it up. Hopefully, we can get the pillows, get the ropes, and all that shit. But we have some news for Time for War. You, as you all know, my match is an open challenge. Yes. And... Derek Wolf has been well, fired. Just, yes. We, and blacklisted. <laughs> we have released Derek Wolf for negligence and... Um... He sucks. Yeah. Plainly, he sucks. He's a worse um, wrestler than Aaron is. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyways, so we have some plans after Time for War. Um, it's just stay tuned. Sorry, I'm kind of tired, so I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I feel like I'm drunk from last night. TCPW on YouTube, Dag Ryan channel on YouTube, Jared Weller's official the, on YouTube. Check out uh, the drunk cast. Hey right, guys, I also want to say, I just want to say like, SummerSlam is uh, being held in Toronto next year. Me and Aaron yes. are going to that. It is about time SummerSlam is somewhere else other than Brooklyn. It hasn't been in Toronto in years. The last yeah. time it was in Toronto was 2004, right? I believe so. Yeah, when Benoit dropped the title to work. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Wow, yeah, so, it's, been, it's been a long time. Yeah. And they won't ever mention that match ever again. No, but hey, Toronto's a good crowd, so I'm going to yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, that's true. I just, I, I, I just really wish they would yeah. take their ban off of mentioning Benoit. He's been in so yeah. many great matches. They're not going to. That's the no, problem. they're never yeah. going to, which is, is sad. It's sad, but you got to understand why. I mean, the man murdered his family. That's inconclusive. He murdered his family, Jared. We're not That's gonna it. fight about it, guys. Anyways, thank you for having me on the podcast. Hey, WWE, hi- hire us. Hire us to write your shows because your shows suck. Alright everybody, thank what? you for listening. We love you all. Just kidding. And we don't uh, all love Derek or Aaron. Go read a book. Go 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 watch go watch All In. Fight TV app. Yes. Yes, all go right. watch All In guys. Alright, I'll see you all. Yeah, see you guys.